name is Chris Udy. I'm the owner of Third Coast Guitar Service. Um, this is a Harmony. It's an old H165. Okay. It's solid and mahogany. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One number of problems with this one, okay. and one of which is if you if you well this stuff is just cosmetic. Yeah. It's got junk on it. This stuff here sure. is just there were two inexplicably mm -hmm. two pick guards yeah. in case I guess okay. you played left handed. I, I have no idea. Flip it around. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you can see it's kind of sagging. One of yes. the reasons for this is there's a missing uh, brace. Cross, cross brace. It yeah. Fell out. Yeah. I had it. And I lost. And you lost. Okay. So I don't know what, I mean, I would like to have that replaced. Uh -huh. Yeah, it, it's a little more difficult, and you, I can see where the, you know, where the top's deflecting. It, it's a little more difficult uh, to replace a brace mm -hmm. than it is to actually glue a loose brace, uh, yeah. obviously, because you got to get it all, you know, you got to fit it, you got to make it, if, especially if you're making a brace. Right. You got to make it, you got to fit it in the right spot. If I'm not mistaken, these are, are what's called ladder brace. They are. The okay, ladder, yeah. yeah. Um, and, 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 exactly. It, it, like, like if you look in the back of any, uh, acoustic guitar that has braces, the backs are on most acoustic guitars uh, are ladder brace. So that's what it looks like on the uh, on the underside of this. There's braces here, might be a brace here, maybe a brace here, uh, as opposed to uh, like a traditional Martin, which would be uh, an X brace. Yeah, yeah. yeah and it's a, it has a pattern where there's a the braces run here and here, and then there's some other smaller braces on those guitars as well. Uh, so it's it's a it's a little more difficult than than um, well, it's a lot more difficult actually than than actually create creating a uh, creating braces more difficult than you know just re gluing a brace. Right. And so, um, but it's doable. I mean, how much would it be? But what's the, I mean, the thing is, I could probably find the brace, but God, I mean, who yeah. knows how long it'll take me? To find <laughs> exactly. It. No, um, I totally understand. Um, and this here is where you can see it's it's also bowing a little bit yeah. here. Yeah, that's just, once again, that's all from, there's, there's a couple of reasons it may be doing that. The first thing, it's like uh, if you have a car that doesn't start and it needs a new starter, you got to put a starter in it before you can see what else might be wrong with right, it. Right. And, and this, you, you really got to brace this up to, to see what else may be going on with it. Okay. Uh, and the brace, uh, brace off, uh, replacing a brace on this guitar uh, is going to run uh, about $45 to glue it up and another uh, $50 or so to actually make the brace, believe it or not. I'll try to find the brace. If I find the brace in the yeah. next day or so, yeah. I will give you a call yeah, let me know. and I'll bring it in. Yeah, absolutely. And then we can do that because that yeah. will cut the cost of that down oh, to a yeah. reasonable level. Yeah, absolutely. Best case scenario, you know, if you find the brace and we can put that brace back on, you know, then doing the neck reset might not, you know, be a bad idea. Might, might not be a bad idea because this guitar probably could play pretty nicely. Yeah.